Ooh, you know what's some alligators over there. Cannon, Rocky Bayou State Park. See if we can catch us some crabs. The old fashioned way putting some chicken legs in the crab trap. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been out here. Last time we were out here, we were on the kayak. Later and see if we got some crab. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks good. Thank you. Okay, so I just made another discovery. When you have on the fireplace, it also heats up. But you can set the time so that it doesn't have to run all night. You can set the time to however long that you want it to heat up so it doesn't get too hot. Isn't that cool? So what's for dinner? Well, I am going to cook the whole chicken in a Dutch oven. And we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Got to prep, clean it. Okay, well I'll let you get it together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh man, that chicken is cooking good. Yes, it's, it's cooking pretty good. Mm, let me see a fork. <laughs> see what this chicken talking about. See what this chicken talking about. Ooh, it's so tender. Oh my goodness, it's just falling off the bone. It's just falling off the bone. And what we're going to do is uh, what we don't eat tonight, we're going to use it and make chicken tacos tomorrow. Let me see what that tastes like. I was actually fixing your plate, babe. No, that's cool. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go ahead and take the rest of that. It's all right. All righty. Let me give this a try. See what it tastes like. The rice, it's all right. <laughs> I that never tried that before. pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm. 
it's different. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't compare it to my uh, rice, broccoli, and cheese casserole because uh, <laughs> that came out of a bag. Exactly. I made mine from scratch. <laughs> exactly. And that's what it tastes like, out of a bag. Out of a bag. <laughs> yeah. It's that time of the night for a little late night snack. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Make us a few chocolate chip cookies to set the mood. These cookies are so good. Mm. I only know why I did it. I don't even know why I did it, y'all. <laughs> I cooked eight of them. Because we supposed to be sharing them, but he didn't went in there and went to sleep. So that means I'm probably going to end up eating all eight of them. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, don't judge me. Beautiful view to wake up to. Surrounded by nature. Good morning, y'all. Hey, y'all. How's it going? I hope everyone is doing well. We are at Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park in Niceville, Florida. And um, I was just wanting to show y'all our site. These are not as private as Henderson, but they do have some privacy. And these campsites are really large. We're in campsite 35. We have a waterfront view. So this is our campsite. Campsite 35. Now we didn't set out any chairs or anything last night because it was kind of chilly out here. But it's a very large site. Very large site. And in the summertime, it's a little bit more privacy. I mean, you can see our neighbors there, but it's still not too close. And I'm going to show y'all how it looks across the street. This was one of our favorite parks to go kayaking in. We have caught fish here. But it's a little chilly today. But I just wanted to show y'all. We may take a walk on the trail a little bit later. They do have a couple of trails here. Look at that. You do have to be careful because there are alligators out here. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Another nice place to camp. Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park. If you like being out in nature, this is a great place to camp out. You can also camp out in a tent. Hey there, little buddy. Yes, so there are alligators out here. <laughs> well, this is a wonderful park if you like being out in nature. And I love being out in nature. I've missed it so much. So, hopefully I'm not breathing too hard. This is the time for me to get back in shape. After having them cookies last night. <laughs> so what's the plan? Baby, just 
skinny alligators over there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen one before over here. Absolutely. What's the plan? Well, let's go to plan B. What? I'll go to the fish market and get some fish? Absolutely. That's our plan B. <laughs> you don't even want to try uh, fishing first? No, let's just go straight to plan B and try that every day. <laughs> All right. Ah, it's too bumpy. Well, so we're about to take us some bike ride, and I thought I'd bring you guys along with us. Hopefully, we can keep up with Philip this time. Or Philip can keep up with us, I should say. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ready? These um, campsites are really big. <laughs> We're gonna go see if we have us uh, some crabs in the crab trap. Rolling now. They have a nice park over here for the kiddos. You can rent canoes. One of our favorite places that we used to like to bring the kayak. This is a very beautiful park. Here's the bayou over there. The water. And we're going to go check to see if we have any crabs in the crab trap that we dropped yesterday. We've never caught cat crabs here before. But hopefully we can catch some today. Now this hill right here is where having an electric bike comes in handy. So you don't have to pedal up this hill. <laughs> Ooh. Ah! <laughs> I'm going too fast. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the pedal assist definitely come in handy on that hill. <laughs> the pedal assist does come in handy, don't it? Yeah. The pedal assist does. At least I feel like I'm doing a little bit of something pedaling. <laughs> but when I'm going up a hill, it does help. Do you just have your motor on? You just have your motor going? You're not doing any pedaling? <laughs> Hello. Are we going to plan on fishing here a little later? Yeah, we can give it a try. Okay. Still might be too early. Well, no, I mean, they're catching fish on the pier. It's I think just... that the cold front came in and dropped the water. Um, I don't see any fish in there, no activity, so I don't know. We might want to wait. You probably shouldn't have put that chicken in there. We in Florida. <laughs> you probably should have put some fish in there. They haven't even nibbled on that chicken or nothing. You should have probably put some fish in there. That's okay. I got a plan B. Mm. Okay. Well, this is, uh, we're at 
Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park. And believe it or not, we have kayaked in this water with dolphins right next to us. Where did it go? I can't believe we are in the same water as dolphins. Look, babe. Mm. I don't see any fish up under there. No, I don't even see no activity. I think it's too early. Usually no, you can you see, see yeah, usually you can catch some uh, mangrove snapper. Probably have to throw out deep. But okay. Well, we'll have to try it another time. And then we'll go back and we'll head over to the desk and to the fish market. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, what if I uh, lost control of this bike and accidentally <laughs> hit the uh, power and then it ended up in that water? <laughs> Would you say for me? <laughs> If I push the power button and it's just like I ended up in that water, man. It makes me laugh. But anyway, no, no, seriously. And you was able to get footage of that. Oh, no, that would be so crazy. Hey, I don't need views that bad. I'm not going to ride into the damn water. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, these are electric, so you don't have to do too much. <laughs> Got to get your electric one. It'll do it all of it for you. <laughs> Okay, now here comes this hill. Oh, I know you's about to speed down it. Ooh, ooh, it's too fast for me. Oh, if you hit a rock, you're gonna be all toe up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Keeping up with Philip this time, y'all. <laughs> he will try to disappear. <laughs> There's a trail right there. <laughs> we rolling now, y'all. I got it. I got it. I'm I'm back at it. <laughs> we back at it, babe. Yep, we back at it. Feels good too. It's a little chilly today though. It is a little chilly, but it feels so, good. but it feels good in the sun anyway. It's a little chilly. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Good old fish fry going. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Plan B. <laughs> Absolutely. Plan we didn't B. catch none, but we went to the fish market and got us some fresh fish anyway. So we still having some fried fish for dinner. Ooh, you know it's some alligators over there. Ooh, they look alligatory. We have the Rocky Bayou Trail or the Sand Pine Trail? You're gonna try. It'll be what, the Sand Pine Trail? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's go. We don't have nothing for no bears if the bears happen to come out. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff right here is called deer moss. Look at this. Have y'all ever seen anything like that before? Is this some type of fungus? I don't know. It's all through this trail. Look at you. I'm surprised that you're taking a walk, babe. Uh, I'm yeah. surprised. <laughs> I figured I'd get a little exercise in today. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> well, ain't that something? The beauty of being in nature. <laughs>
definitely got some exercise in today. <laughs> Have one more day. So this is the um, chicken that we had cooked last night. We had the chicken with the rice last night and then Philip took the rest of the chicken that was left over and deboned it and made some chicken taco meat. So I'm about to make me a taco. Oh my goodness. I forgot to show y'all the first one, but here's the second taco. They are delicious. This Bisquick Shake and Pour um, pancake mix is great when you're camping out because all you have to do is add the water to the container. You don't have to use a bowl or anything. Now, I bought this little gadget from Walmart. It's supposed to cook pancakes. So, rather than cooking them on a griddle because it's a little chilly this morning, I'm going to see how the pancakes cook in this little <laughs> mini pancake maker. Okay. And I really love how there are so many plugs in here. Um, our other RV didn't have that many plugs in the kitchen, so it's very convenient to have that many plugs. Um, we gotta shake it up. The consistency looks like yeah, so we definitely need to add more water. So I just think this is convenient because you don't have to use a bowl to put the pancake mix in. You just shake it and pour. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, I'm not sure about this. Black folks don't like to read instructions. But this is how it looks. And the light is off and it's not done. So, I don't know y'all. <laughs> I know I should have read the instructions because I don't know y'all. It's um, it's not working like the waffle maker worked. So I don't know. We'll see. If it don't work out, then I guess I'll just uh, have to cook them on the stove. Maybe I put too much pancake mix in there. I don't know. I don't know y'all. <laughs> we'll see. Well, it worked. It took a long time, but they do look like pancakes. Um, it's just that it takes so long. This one's going to be cold by the time my other two get done. You said what? Using that little small one? Mm -hmm. It doesn't get hot enough. I tried it last night. It takes too long? I know. It took a long time to make one pancake, so I might have to pull this griddle out, but I'm only making a couple, so it's all right. So, uh, you want to cook them out here on the griddle? Um, I already got one going. I'm going to have to cook the other one. Thank right. you, though. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best idea because you have to eat your pancakes one at a time if you don't want to eat cold pancakes. So, But it got done. It looked like frozen pancakes. Mm, okay. It tastes like regular pancakes. So, Philip rode over to the office to see if we could get another day because it's such a pretty day today. We're not ready to go home just yet. <laughs> what did they say? They said it wasn't nothing available right now, but what they're going to do is they're going to let us know. So I gave my number. Okay. They had yours, but I told them you don't ever answer the phone. <laughs> I told them what my number. <laughs> yeah, that was probably best. <laughs> I don't live through my phone, man. <laughs> Not anymore. Just taking a morning walk. It's one thing that I love about... Um, been out in nature and when we start going camping like we were healthier <laughs> we exercise more especially on that kayak His legs about to be oh on point goodness. i wish y'all could have saw that in action there's a lot of palmetto palm on this trail aren't those pretty it's so pretty 
and Philip has been a trooper, <laughs> taking a walk with me for a second time on the camping trip. <laughs> but it's just the beauty of living in Florida, you know. Uh, we don't really have to travel far to camp. We can just go right to the local parks. Um, Fred Gannon, Rocky Bayou State Park is only 20 minutes from us. So it's not far from the house, but it's okay because it's such a beautiful park. We don't have to drive hours to get to. So it's truly a blessing. Yeah, it is shorter on the trail than riding the bike. It seems far on the bike, but on the trail, it's, it's really short. Show y'all these canoes, kayaks that you can rent. So you can rent these and just go right out into the water. We have caught fish over here before. We caught uh, redfish and we've caught trout, uh, flounder. But I don't know what's been going on with our fishing lately, y'all. So, <laughs> but it's a little beach area. People do swim in here. I wouldn't do it, but people do. We have seen people on boats swim here, but I wouldn't swim in it. <laughs> we'll be able to get y'all some footage like that eventually. Here's some more kayaks over here. And you rent them when you first come into the park. We said we were done with the kayaking, but we may have to get us another one, babe. I know. <laughs> That's where the wash house is, and they have washers and dryers. You can wash and dry your clothes, take showers, use the restroom. We both have our duties. Mine's is inside, and Phillips is outside. Because <laughs> I don't mess with that tank, okay? I'll just um, tell him that we both have our duty. So he hooks up the electric in the water. It's the electric hooks up two in the water. This park doesn't have a sewage, so we have to go and dump at the dump station. And I don't fool with that <laughs> at all. I said that with this trailer, I was going to learn how to dump just in case if I have to, but I'm not ready for that lesson just yet. I'll stick to just letting the slide in, okay, and setting up on the inside. So you want to make sure nothing is in front of the slide when you're um, sliding it in. So that's it. Oh. Is and it all the way in? Yes, all the way in. Okay, then. Those would be just one word word yet. Mm -hmm. And I want to show y'all. The contraption that I was talking about. You have to take the TV down when you're traveling because of the movement. But this is what Philip came up with <laughs> in order to hang the TV so that we can have a bigger TV. I had mentioned it in the first video that um, this space is only made for maybe like what a 43 inch, 42 inch, I think it was a 42 inch, a 42 inch, and um, he was able to get a 50 inch because he made a contraption because. He did not want to have to get a smaller TV. <laughs> so I just um, do a quick walkthrough. Make sure that we have everything that we need put up. Not leaving anything out. Oh, just hand soap up. Because things do shift when you're driving. So we're good. We're good. I still have the stuff in the refrigerator and I'm just gonna take that out after we um, get to where we're going because this is also ran by solar. So as long as that's on, the solar is gonna keep it powered so we don't have to worry about that. But there is a main switch. So I'm just gonna turn off the main light switch and um, yeah, we're good to go. And that's how it looks when the slide is in. You gotta have the slide in when you're traveling. And we also have storage in the front that goes all the way to the back. And there's also storage up under the bed inside. 
Yeah, we were gonna see if we could stay for another day, but um, we're gonna go ahead and just go on back home and wait for our next camping trip because we have an unexpected trip, uh, well, an unplanned trip to Oklahoma. So we're gonna be driving to Oklahoma tomorrow, which is 11 hours. And um, so, yeah. See if we can catch us some bass. Bass pond. We also have a catfish pond. Go down there later. We got a trout net set. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, I fished with some worms. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's been too long since I did this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Worm. Oh. That's all you need. I do not remember how to do this. Oh, and all that slime stuff is coming out. Oh, I forgot about that slime stuff. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God.